Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of American Wireless Alarms how-to videos. Today we're going over the NVMS 7000 software on your smartphone or tablet. And the first thing you're going to do is go to your Play Store or the uh, uh, Apple Store and download the app. So I've already got the app downloaded on my phone. Uh, so it's saying open, but normally you would go to the store, type in NVMS 7000. You would hit the install button, it'll install. Once it's installed, you'll go ahead and hit the open button, and it'll show up on your screen. In the upper right-hand corner uh, is an icon, upper left-hand corner is an icon, and those are what we're using to uh, go into the menus. Upper left corner, we're going to tap on that. Uh, three items down, we're going to tap on device. And here we're going to go to manually add, so the upper right corner and you'll see the very first box, manually add, click on that. Here it's asking me for the alias of the location. It doesn't matter what you type in here, just as long as you understand this is what you're calling that particular uh, DVR. So if you have multiple DVRs, that's important to name it uh, what it is. You'll notice on my phone I've got many different locations. Uh, but uh, we can type in whatever we choose to type in here. Uh, so. It's got demo 2 is already in there. I'm going to just backspace it out and uh, we'll put in test. And uh, then it's preset to plug in an IP or domain name. Click down here and this is where you'll put in the IP address. Your wide area network IP address is going to be something uh, such as uh, 72.152.67.142 whatever it happens to be uh, this is where you'll plug that in uh, it's preset for port 8000 which is what the NVMS 7000 DVRs operate on typically hike vision or LTS or a lot of those variables then you'll put in your username username typically is the default of admin you'd put an ADMIN and then the password is typically going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then once you have all that information in there, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner and you're going to tap on the save icon and that's going to save it. Uh, because I don't have all the complete data in there, it's saying address cannot be empty. So I've got to put an address in there. Once I do that, then I can click down to the bottom after I save it and it'll say start live view. Once you do that, it will bring up and allow you to go into a live uh, DVR. So right down here, see where it says start live view at the bottom? Start live view and there's my camera one shot. And if I want to go to a quad screen, I'll go over here to my quad. If I want to go to something more than a quad, I can go to a 9 or a 16, and I can scroll further over depending on the software, and it'll show me how many options I have on the number of cameras. Once you're looking at a live view, if you've got uh, 9 images, you want to see a close-up of a particular image, just double tap on that screen, and now I am going to a full size of the one image. If I rotate the camera, then it'll go full screen, 16 by 9 format. My menu's still down at the bottom. Once I've gone to a full screen, my menu's at the bottom. The uh, plus here, which is the little uh, magnifying glass, I can click on that. Once it's highlighted in blue, I can now expand and see a close up of the uh, images on the uh, screen. Tap it again, turn the zoom off, and it goes back to my regular. Uh, my quads are all over here on the uh, right-hand uh, column. If uh, I want to change the resolution of the image I'm streaming, uh, this image of the monitor here, I'll tap on that. And then I can pick Clear, Fluent, or Custom. If I go to Fluent, it means that I'm going to use the bandwidth I have to have the streaming video stream smoother and use less uh, pixel uh, definition or less resolution so it looks more of an observation view. If I want to clear that up I'll tick, click on clear and now I'm using the full resolution of the camera. 
but I am using more bandwidth as well. Um, that's about it on the how-to on the NVMS 7000. Uh, the key thing I always tell people is make sure when you're done you log off of the software because if you just accidentally just close it, I'm still burning data right now. So go ahead and make sure that when you have that open, make sure you log off. Go to the back, confirm you're going to shut down the app so you're not continuing to burn your data. Thank you for watching another American Wallace Alarm how-to video. If you like our stuff, subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment, and uh, visit our website, www.awafl.com.